Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have an article for you guys straight from T-Mobile's newsroom. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys may check it out. So it looks like T-Mobile's ready for the big game, the, the, the Super Bowl that's taking place, I believe, February 11th in Las Vegas. T-Mobile has, has made their permanent enhancements. And let's see what they are. So within stadium speeds, up to 10 times faster than before, their uncarious investments in permanent network upgrades for Las Vegas is paying off as the city preps for hundreds of thousands of visitors. So they're expecting about 450,000 people to be at the sporting events. So it looks like um, this the, the, the peak speeds could be up to 1.2 gigs, 10 times faster than before, and peak upload speeds could be a staggering 200 megabits, but that's... Of course, ideal conditions. You have to be right within line of sight of the of the node or the or the macro, whatever the DAS system. So we'll look at the uh, the upgrades that they've done. So here's how T-Mobile is supporting the big game with with its permanent upgrades inside Allegiant Stadium. 62 IDAS sectors inside the stadium with three sectors covering the field, covering the entire stadium with ultra capacity 5G. So that's a huge upgrade, not just for the Super Bowl, but for every other game that will be hosted in that stadium. Seven ODAS sectors servicing areas just outside the stadium for better coverage at celebrations happening around the stadium. So they upgraded the outside as well, tailgating whatever takes place. Millimeter wave enhancements both inside and outside the stadium so fans on T-Mobile's network can quickly update their social feeds, friends and families on the latest plays with our fastest possible 5G speeds. So millimeter wave did make it to the stadium and these are some of the additional locations that they're supporting the fountains of bellagio to support so they made upgrades there the mandolin bay wind parking garage brooklyn bowl looks like that's where they made enhancements for the game and also it looks like they made enhancements to the Harry Reid International Airport millimeter wave upgrades um, 17 more small cells added across the city and Cosmopolitan and Fountain Blue upgrades enhance the network experience for customers inside both locations. So they made up updates and upgrades to the hotels, the airport, and they added 17 more small sales uh, across the city. So pretty big inv investment there. I'm sure a part of that was already did already happen for the Formula One race, and they probably just added a few more since then for the Super Bowl. So they're ready to go. Looks like T-Mobile is ready to go. Um, will they be as fast as, as Verizon? Probably not. I'll just be honest. Verizon will probably have huge upgrades across the city with, with tons of millimeter wave. That, that will probably be the, be the leading network in that area. Lots of nodes, millimeter wave all over, eight-channel aggregation. Uh, Verizon will probably support peak speeds of up to four gigs. As you saw here, T-Mobile is, is saying 1.2 gigs. So Verizon will be the fastest carrier at this event, uh, assuming nothing goes wrong. Uh, AT&T should be second fastest. And T-Mobile will, will likely be the third fastest, but they should still be solid in and around the stadium with the possibility of them having the least amount of customer at this event. You know, they should do just fine. So just wanted to share that with you guys today. I'll leave a link to this article so you guys may check it out. If you're new to the channel, like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.